okay so so if if they are if they have asked you to calculate delta s of reaction of course they will give you values of this delta s of individual substances so that you can calculate delta s of product and delta s of reactant so i am giving you some values for example i am giving you delta s of ammonia delta s of ammonia means when nitrogen and hydrogen were in atomic state what is the change in entropy when they have gone from atomic state to this molecular state of ammonia that is delta s of ammonia delta s of ammonia is 193 joule per kelvin similarly delta s of nitrogen gas is 91.5 joule per kelvin and delta s not actually they are at standard state of uh, what uh, i have given you ammonia nitrogen hydrogen gas suppose is equal to 130.6 then uh i mean you don't have to do anything to find the delta s of reactant you just have to add these two and delta s of product is this so you, when you subtract it you will get the value of delta s of uh delta s of what delta s of reaction so this is how you will find out the delta s of reaction from the given data i mean this is very simple easy it's very trivial it's just like feeding the data and getting the answer okay one more thing if someone gives you just this reaction and he asks you to predict whether the entropy change of the reaction will be positive or negative in board exams like um, they they ask you this kind of problems predict whether the entropy of the reaction would be positive or negative and they'll ask you to cite reasons now you will answer this kind of problem like this that the change in entropy is predicted to be negative the reason being that there are four hydrogen four molecules three hydrogen and one nitrogen in the reactant and they are redistributed to form two molecules of ammonia now the energy was distributed in four molecules and later the energy is distributed in two molecules so energy is being concentrated energy is not being dispersed as is the idea of entropy so if energy is being concentrated then the uh, then the entropy will decrease okay so we predict that the entropy of this reaction entropy of the system during this course of reaction would decrease because the distribution of energy is being more concentrated in two molecules rather than being four molecules at, as it was originally okay suppose they give you this reaction sodium from solid state is going to gaseous state now if you have to predict whether the entropy is increasing or decreasing then uh, you will predict it to be increasing the reason being when sodium is solid in sodium chip in solid state then the energy the, i mean the kinetic energy is not there the energy is bit the, the there is potential energy between two nucleus atoms and electrons because of electrostatic force of attraction but there is no kinetic energy when you vaporize it each individual atom is going to have kinetic energy that is going to hit more of atoms and molecules of air or any other gas around it and that energy is going to be dispersed so so this process involves spread out of energy it involves diffusion of energy it involves dispersal of energy so because it involves dispersal of energy so we predict that the entropy of this reaction entropy during the course of the reaction will increase and if they give you data that delta s not of uh, gaseous sodium is 153.61 joule per mole kelvin and delta s not of sodium solid is equal to 102.16 joule uh no not 102 suppose it's 51.45 joule per mole kelvin now calculating the delta s during the course of reaction is as easy as candy because delta s of reaction is 
is de delta s naught if you are dealing with stand if you are having standard state is simply product minus reactant fine now the product has been the delta s of the product has been given and uh, because the coefficients are one we'll take them to be one mole so delta s of product is given as 153.61 joule per kelvin per mole and delta s of reactant is also given so you just have to feed it joule per kelvin and this is your answer this will be 102.16 joule per kelvin fine so we are learning how to calculate delta s for the reaction Similarly, just for practice, solve one more problem. Suppose we are dealing with combustion of propane, then the product would be CO2 gas and water vapor. Fine, uh, so uh, balance this yourself. And you have been asked to calculate the entropy change of uh, the entropy change of this reaction, and I'm giving you data and get to the answer. Don't shy away from calculation, uh, because cal in physical chemistry, in most of the reaction, in this chapter, in other chapters, you have to deal with uh, calculations. It's not like organic, so you have to get to your answer. Uh, and do calculation. I'm giving you data of delta S, not of CO2, is equal to 313.7 joule per Kelvin. Delta S not for H2O. Suppose this is not in gaseous state. Let's take this in liquid state. Delta S not of H2O liquid is equal to 69.9 joule per Kelvin. Delta S naught of methane in gaseous it propane sorry in gaseous state is two sixty nine point nine joule per kelvin and delta S naught of oxygen of course in gaseous state is two hundred and five joule per kelvin. Now you calculate the delta S for reaction at standard state fine now in order to calculate delta s for the reaction in standard state don't forget to balance the chemical equation if you forget to balance the chemical equation then your answer would be wrong everything every every calculation every analysis that you do in a chemical equation it, it always has to be in a balanced chemical equation and if you do it and Please do it, otherwise um, you're not going to learn it. Your calculation is never going to be fast and you are always going to be stuck in your entrance exam and you are going to be stuck after you enter the college, during your semester exam and you're going to be stuck during the exams of your job, during uh, the recruitment process you are going to be stuck and you're going to be stuck during the calculations that will come across once you enter the job. So your life is going to be miserable if you're not going to make your calculation fast. So I suggest you, you come to the answer and get your answer like minus 74.2 kilo joule per Kelvin.